Okay, so in this problem, we're going to solve this quadratic equation by using what's called the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula says that when you have an equation that looks like ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the answer to this equation is x equals negative b. Actually, there's two answers. So plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And it's all divided by 2a. So in this problem, all we have to do is identify our a, b, and c, and then just plug them into the equation. So a is the coefficient of x squared, so a will be equal to 5. And b is the number here, the coefficient in front of x, so b is negative 14. And c will be negative 3. All right, so now we just plug it in. Let's see, negative b. So b is already negative, and there's a negative here, so it will become a positive. So 14 plus or minus the square root of b, so negative 14 squared, minus 4, and then a is 5, and c is negative 3. And it's all being divided by 2 times a, so 2 times 5. Let me just go ahead and check that. So b was negative 14, but it, there's already a negative here, so it makes it positive. We square it here, boom, and then minus 4ac, so a is 5, c is negative 3, all over 2a, and a is 5. So everything looks, uh, looks pretty good. This is equal to 14, plus or minus. Now I'm pretty sure 14 squared um, is 196, and it is. I just checked in my calculator, it is 196. So 196. This is really tricky. Look, there's a negative here and a negative here. So it'll be plus. Then 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. Okay. And it's all being divided by 10. Not the easiest example. So this is equal to 14 plus or minus. Uh, 196 uh, plus 60 is 256. This is the square root of 256, all being divided by 10. And I think the square root of 256 is a nice number. Um, yeah, it's 16. So this is 14 plus or minus 16 over 10. Okay, so we have two possible answers. Let's go ahead and break it up. So there's two cases. There's the plus case and the minus case. So x equals 14 plus 16 over 10. So that'll be uh, 30 over 10, so that's 3. So x is 3, it's one answer. And the other answer will be x equals 14 minus 16 over 10. So that's going to be minus 2 over 10, so minus 1 over 5. Went kind of fast, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, as long as you memorize the formula and you're really careful here when you plug the numbers in, watch out for like the double negatives. See that, that the 4 and the 5 and the negative 3, right, and the negative here. This is tricky. This is negative 20 times negative 3, so it gives you a positive 60. Just watch out for that double negative. Um, I hope this video has been helpful.